Brad Castleberry responds, is he nutty or not? You mentioned to me earlier that um, you chose a natural bodybuilding route. Mm -hmm. um, do you think when people see your physique, do you think they be believe you or they doubt that you're natural? Um, I think they doubt it instantly. I'm in a cabana chant on a stand up banner where you don't got the stamina, you're lacking the stamina. Can't say lifetime, but. And at the point I'm at, I stand on it. It takes hard, dedicated work and working out properly. Like, there's, I, I feel like I'm one of a kind, one of one in the industry. You lack of the stamina while you're divorcing Harrison Ford and I'm in a portion of flowing port. You don't you have know. to take stuff like this to look like us. Yeah, dude. It's, it's all like dedication and consistency. They live in the lifestyle. Still parties, he gets He has a good time. Dude, that's what his life's all about, bro. You use way too many napkins. Papkins. Do you plan on getting into acting or is it just going to stay modeling for you? Wow, we're going there. All right. He was the only person that actually believed me. Uh, who is natural and who is a lion piece of sh in the fitness industry? Up first. Mad games. Well, that was fun. Blew my video budget on that. To make up for that, I'm going to have to now enroll with my favorite Instagram money man and old school natty bro. Brandon. Dollar dollar bills, y'all! Dollar dollar bills! <laughs> I really wanted to use Generation Iron's title for this video, but when I started typing it, I couldn't stop laughing. Apparently, the gift that keeps on giving. And at the point I'm at, I stand on it. I'm like, go take whatever you want. You'll never be create this off of taking juicy vitamins. It takes hard, dedicated work and working out properly. I, I feel like I'm one of a kind, one of one in the industry. He's one of one. And if you believe what he just said, you are one of one. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You are eliminated. This is a satirical, comedic look into some of the funniest stuff that we see in the celebrity fitness industry, the fake natty, the people hanging on to their questionable natural status and why they do that, who knows? Here's an analogy for you. The fake natty concept is kind of like the comb over. Everyone knows you're bold, you're not fooling anyone, shave it. Do you plan on getting into acting? I think you nailed the acting already, mate. I'll get my razor. Colton lost. Yeah, gotta show it. The world is imbalanced. 2020 Justin Bieber is yoked. Best way to grow your Instagram for fitness. Oh, I know this one. Is it to mislead millions of teenagers? Is be active. Ah, balls. And so there are two sides to this debate. Some people just do not care about this issue. They think that actually it's irrelevant when it comes to general fitness communication and discourse. And then on the other hand, there are people who greatly care about this issue as they believe that these people are selling services and products based on a misleading body composition. And whichever side of that debate you fall upon, the key point is, and this is poignant. When it comes to the issue of the fake natty, I find it funny. And remember kids, never click on links. Fit plan, sounds good. Is this like a spot the fake natural game? Cause there's some likely suspects in here. Is that my favorite Dr. Jim? Ah uh, no, not him. Please let Mike's profile have something hilarious in it. Fitness legend, there it is. Summer Ray. Elliot Atwell entered the chat. And where he may end up, they really do have cameras everywhere. Summer Ray's medical advice that she gives on YouTube is fake natty. This caption is also fake natty. I'm adding and redefining that term fake natty. Think of it as an amalgamation of the oil boy and the Devon with a sprinkle of mukbang supplement salesman. If you want 15 minutes of exercise science related to muscle hypertrophy, protein synthesis and metabolism, completed it mate. Thank you so much to the people who watched and interacted with that video. Watching that video at 3 a.m. is what I call hard work and dedication. I briefly mentioned Cad Bradleberry in this video and I got some hilarious comments. Joke of the week. And I made the terrible mistake of researching some of his recent work. No naughty sauce. It'll create this body. It's the ways I've worked out, the way I've, uh, like I, 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 I do my workouts. It's, it's the style. Brad's acting is slightly better than Kelly Muscles. The important question is, however, what about his music? And so a quick background on Brad Dinkleberry. He's famous for using monster weights, which the fitness industry exposed as being fake weights over recent years. He performs superhuman feats of strength and speed. If Captain America had the Insta virus. And so I made this video discussing this topic, part one, and I got some comments about this man, Mr. Matt Ogus. And to be honest, I'd never heard of him. Okay, that makes sense. From one fake natty crew to another. Steve Cook mentioned before does home workout magic and seemingly every week seems to add to this growing library of nonsense. Is now a fast food speed eating contestant and for someone who is the coach on The Biggest Loser, a TV show about weight loss for at-risk populations. 
It's just utter trash. But Generation Iron is fast becoming my favorite source of YouTube comedy. They made this video about Superman. And talking of Superman, if you do want an amazing movie to watch during your time of isolation, I recommend Dean Kane agent Toby. <laughs> Trust me, it's terrible. It's when something is so bad that it's actually entertaining. Introducing the fake Natty. And if Mike O'Hearn's the secret to his unbelievable all-natural physique was not enough, then the arrogance of this title may whet your appetite. Can Mike O'Hearn tell if an athlete is Natty or not? And the answer to this one is I would bleed in hope so, considering his whole career has involved him trying to navigate those waters. And I love the contrast in the images they use for the thumbnails. This one is Thoughtful Mike, this one is Teacher Mike, and just for a giggle, this one is Prison Mike. And so Generation Iron do seem to have a history with Mr. Michael O'Hearn, this article from 2015. Mike O'Hearn is an athlete who is constantly preaching about being natural. Yet many observers Observers in the fitness world are skeptical. It seems that even YouTube fitness personalities have an opinion on the former American Gladiator star. Of course, we can take all this advice with a grain of salt. So to be clear, take this advice, which is all correct, with a grain of salt, because Generation Iron have a business relationship with this man. And I made the terrible mistake of consuming more of their videos, and I found this. Now, to be fair, this is not complete utter junk, as they are just asking him the question. But, and again, the main point is, I find it hilarious. And you would think that they might press him slightly more on his answers than they did. I'm all about health, 100%. Drink lots of water, eat proper, train right, sleep right. It takes the proper steps to get a quality of physique. And um, I, uh, um, but there probably is people out there uh, lying, 100%. And so what's really confusing about these epic interviews as you watch them is there's no laughter track. I was sure that as I was going through this video that it was the newest episode of Friends. But as there is no sitcom laughter track in it, I decided to add my own. I know who Tony Hughes is, that he does not look like this. <laughs> not even close. So whatever he is doing isn't what I'm doing. <laughs> And actually, it's very sad. As you watch the whole interview, you watch this man juggling with these issues, 10 minutes of a weird type of denial and justification. And he's giving these scenarios, which you know are his own experiences, but he's giving them hypothetically as though they're attributed to other people in the fitness industry. And it just gets to the point where it's very, very sad. And of course, the consistency and hard work that all of these people talk about is needed. However, it has to weigh on their minds. And this interview is just a clear visual example of how this issue must weigh on someone's mind and how it must consume them. But they can't break this facade at this point and they keep going deeper into this rabbit hole. And so there are videos from people explaining what these people may be doing and this can be educational for many people but perhaps the deeper issue going on here is psychological so fake natty stuff aside and again if you don't know whether this man is fake natty you are eliminated what is perhaps even more frustrating in the fitness industry is stuff like this thoughts on thermogenics and fat burn off highly recommend recommending to his let's be honest mostly young audience to take fat loss supplements i like i said guys have a fat burn off once or twice every day they definitely work they definitely work. They're really good. It's just everything wrong with what fitness and health communication should be. Find yourself one that's going to suppress your appetite, make you not want to have bad food. And if you want more in-depth scientific reasoning for why over-the-counter legal fat loss supplements are not effective, I have videos on that. External fat loss supplements cannot hack your fat loss metabolism. They cannot over the long term and significantly hack this process as fat loss happens on a per needed basis. Essentially meaning your body burns fat when it needs to, not just because you're trying to artificially hack it with some type of supplement. Just chilling by myself, pondering when I'll be posting my next YouTube video. Excellent, won't watch it. And then there's stuff like this. And for sure, genetics play a role in all athletic pursuits, if you like. There is no level playing field for everyone, but this is a literal example of nonsense. And in the nicest possible way, Mr. Carlton Loth, behave yourself. And for anyone thinking that making jokes about, for example, Matt Ogus's information and profile is insensitive, just read this caption. But this is great advice. In this clip and this video, he talks about how fat loss supplements just do not work. Over-the-counter fat loss supplements don't, for example, affect your metabolism as people suggest they do. And so this video is actually great information for Matt Ogus. And it contrasts to that fella Calvin. And it contrasts to that fella Carlton. Jeff Syed, mentioned in this video, got to play this clip. Talking of Hollywood, Jeff was sent to Bollywood where he became inspired to make his own movie. Didn't watch it. I think it's a comedy. Manchester City's accountant is more transparent than this guy. His fake natty car rants are legendary and his lifestyle philosophy profound. Talking of cars, and you may have missed this on Carlton's page because it's very subtle and you have to really read between the lines when you're looking at his Instagram profile, but the man does have an Audi with his name on it. What are you going to do? 
I'm playing in a hand trick with Danica Pantrick. I'm saying an accent. Nick Cannon's fantastic. 